So a few weeks ago, I saw the story from Forbes magazine. They were reporting on a study was done about tea. What they found is when tea is put into hot water, it releases nanoplastics, basically really small microscopic pieces of plastic into your tea. And that's because of what the bag is made out of, as well as the adhesive that is used in these bags. So I'm like, microplastics, apparently one cup of tea can have up to a billion of these things. My first reaction is, I gotta stop using these things. So when Roam Tea reached out to me about their tea infuser, I was really intrigued because this would allow you to use loose leaf tea and make your tea and avoid all those microplastics. So we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna brew us some tea today. So join me as we test out the Royam Tea Infused Pot. So I wanna take this opportunity to thank Royam Tea for sending this. This came right on time. Because when that story came out, I was shocked. I was confused. I didn't know if I should continue to use those tea bags. And I wanted to start looking at some other options of using some loose tea as opposed to tea that's in those bags. So they have this really beautiful tea infuser as well as they offer a line of teas. So this is the Spring Sun Black Tea. This is made, this is a Chinese classic fermented black tea with intriguing flavor and a mildly sweet taste. They also have tea like this. This is Jasmine Dragon Pearls Green Tea. And um, this looks really cool. It's a fragrant flower that can be used to extract essential oils, has become a common tropical crop and cultivated in China, so wow, it has a sweet aroma. So that looks kind of interesting. I'm personally allergic to caffeine, so I'm gonna be using some cinnamon herbal tea. I have that right here in this little pouch, um, but they have a full line of different kinds of teas as well as infusers. So let's get this baby out of the box. I'm really anxious to take a look at this because it's really, really beautiful looking. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It, this teapot looks really nice. So we have, um, this is a little base for you to put the um, infuser in. And here's a base for the teapot. This is made, looks out of bamboo. Um, congratulations on your purchase and gives you a little guide to uh, your brewing times. Ooh, I like this. Ah, I really like this. This is perfect for me and I love the shape of it. It's beautiful. So this goes on here. This is where you're gonna rest your hot tea. Um, here's a little lid for it. That is so cute. I love it. And here's your infuser. So your infuser can go on this when you're done uh, brewing your tea. So how this works is you're gonna put your loose tea inside here, and this is like a little strainer. and It's made out of stainless steel, which is great, it makes it easy to clean. Um, the rim of this is stainless steel, and the actual teapot is made of glass. Look at that, that's really sweet. I love this. So let me get our hot water going and we're gonna put our loose tea in here. I'm gonna wash all this up. We're gonna put our loose tea in here and when our water's hot, we just pour it right in here and it infuses our tea. Let's make some tea. So we have our water heated over there. We're gonna take the, um, Strainer here, we're gonna go ahead and put that into the teapot. And I have a really beautiful um, cinnamon herbal tea. 
Mmm, smells fantastic. And this thing will make four cups. So we're gonna go ahead and um, you wanna put about a teaspoon per cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, maybe like three teaspoons. Ooh, it smells so good. There's such a variety of loose teas out there. I have my little cup here that I bought for the upcoming St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so let's go. Oh, it smells so good. I think I'm done with the bag tea. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it. And we're going to put the lid on here. We have our tea right here. It's infusing. We're going to put the lid on here. We're going to let it steep for a few minutes. Oh, it smells so good. And we'll be right back. So I could tell you this thing gets my thumbs up big time. I love this thing. It is so cute. It is so easy. And this is even microwavable safe. So you don't have to have a tea kettle. You can just put the water in here, microwave it, and then lower the infuser in there. Um, you can do it that way. I just love using my teapot. And I only use water in this teapot. I don't make any tea in here. And I don't cook anything else in there. I just use it for water. Um, Wow, I love this. This is awesome. Look at how cute that thing is. I love it. Thank you so much for sending this. Um, I think it's fantastic. So let me serve myself up a cup of tea. This is a really big cup. <laughs> so if you want to take the infuser out you can you just remove it like this and you can put it over here on this bamboo um, tray I'm just gonna leave it in there it'll just get more and more infused I'm gonna give me a little bit of sugar in here or a lot Oh my gosh, it is so fragrant. The cinnamon, you can even take the dehydrator and make your own tea. That would be fantastic. Mmm, woo, hot and delicious. It tastes just like cinnamon, like a cinnamon stick. Mmm, it's beautiful. I love it. I think I'm officially off of bagged style tea. Forget the uh, nano plastics. Those days are gone, right? I'm going straight loose leaf from now on. Mm. You want to taste this, boo? Sure. Come take a taste. It's really cinnamony. Mmm. I concur. This smells like you just walked into a big box hobby store around the holidays when they got the cinnamon everywhere. Mm -hmm. you know. <sighs> but it also has a little earthy taste to it too. It does. You can really taste the, um, it just tastes a lot more natural than a tea bag. Yeah, well I mean sometimes the natural, the regular tea bags. You know, they just have a certain taste of them. This tastes pretty good. You can taste the bag. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'll take my bag lemony flavor. But yeah, that's pretty good. So anyhow, I that, like it. Yeah, that is kind of cute. Um, but the one warning is you don't want to be steeping it too long because if you have like green tea or something, it might be a little bitter. So you might Yeah, want you want to take that out if you have like um, a green tea. Steep it to your desired steepiness, and also, but then make sure you take that and out. And don't stir, serve it boiling hot because that might make it a little bitter too. Let it cool just a little bit off of the 200 mark. So thank you, Rom, for sending this. Um, they have a lot of different kind of teas too. So I'll put a link not only to the teapot, but to the teas. 
Unfortunately, I'm not able to drink anything with caffeine in it, so I need herbal, but um, yeah. This Jasmine Dragon Pearls tea sounds fantastic. So I think I'm going to um, make these for my neighbor when she comes over. So the teapot, I give this my thumbs up. I love it. I think it's adorable. And I love the idea of being able to steep my loose, steep my loose tea. And um, I don't have to worry about that issue with the plastic. So thumbs up with that. There'll be links down in the description if you want to take a look at it. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. At Facebook, I'm at facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, I'm at cooking with Amy. Cheers. Mmm, hot and delicious. I have my little cup that I bought for, um,